Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.electroniclessons.com and www.engineeringshock.com. Uh, today I'll be showing you my uh, new addition to the Clap Clap On, Clap Clap Off family. You may have seen some of my uh, previous videos that uh, show some of my different circuits. But uh, I know some of you are probably like, oh no, not another Clap Clap circuit. But the interesting thing about this is this requires absolutely no amplifier. And it's powered off the USB port of your computer. Now what I've got here is a, a relay activated clap clap circuit. So clap clap on, uh, relay turns on, AC turns on. So I'll be giving you a demonstration in a minute. Uh, clap clap again within a certain time period, and uh, the relay turns off. So I mean this is uh, an entry into my into the www.instructables.com USB contest. Idea is you turn on your computer, power supply to the circuit, you clap twice and say your lamp turns on or your LCD turns on. Clap, clap again and it turns off. Now what I've got here is a dollar store power bar. The hardware on this board cost pretty much less than five dollars. Lots of time went into programming the uh, the uh, the PIC, PIC 10F222. Now but the cool thing is, is most clap circuits, I've never seen one that doesn't. I'm quite happy about this. Not to toot my own horn, but I, I worked really hard on this. Um, most clap circuits require amplification on the audio signal uh, before it can be actually interpreted by the PIC. Typically you want a 0 to 5 volt digital signal which requires amplification in the comparator circuit to work properly. But what I've done is I'm, I'm, uh, the algorithm essentially works like this. The circuit is on, uh, on power on is looking for a loud enough noise such as a, a clap. And from there, once it detects that first clap, what it does is it samples the the uh, the analog to digital converter samples the input uh, immediately a ton of times and during a countdown sequence. Once that countdown sequence is done, if it, if the uh, pick has detected another clap, then the relay will turn on. If it doesn't within that certain time period, it will, the process will reset and wait for the initial clap again. So clap countdown sample ADC a whole bunch of times. Does it pick it up? If not. Go back to start. If yes, turn relay on. And then it goes through a routine that's very similar to that. You clap twice and it turns the relay off. Now there's a better explanation and the code that can be found at www.instructables.com. My profile is engineering shock. Anyway, this is my pick programmer. I'll talk about the schematic in just a second, but first of all, I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, so there is my board plugged into AC and being the board is the uh, circuit is being powered through my uh, USB port on my PC. 5 volts. When the circuit is idle it takes about 10 milliamps. When the relay is turned on it takes about 50. So let me just show you. Again I'll go over the uh, schematic in just a minute but let me just give you an opportunity to see this in action. Now if I clap once nothing. If I clap once nothing. Have to clap twice. Okay, so here's the schematic diagram. I'm gonna. There's a, a lot more to be said, and you can find it all in. in uh, I've got text notes on www.instructables.com, so check it out. We're using our USB connector to power the to power this to power the board to power the electronics. Uh, when you open up a USB cord, you'll notice four wires. Green, white, red, and black. All we care about is red and black. Red is our positive 5 volt DC source. Black is our ground. Now, you don't necessarily need these capacitors because that line is relatively clean. The, I've put a 10 micro just for in case. I mean, it's just good practice to. I wouldn't exceed 10 micro. And I've got, of course, a 0 0.1 uh, micro uh, microfarad decoupling capacitor just to filter any unwanted spikes that might occur for one reason or another. Um, Anyway, so that is our power supply. It powers our uh, PIC 10F222 microprocessor and our 5 volt relay. We'll get to the relay in a second. The PIC, PIC 10F222 requires 5 volts of pin 2 as our VCC. Uh, is ground at pin 7, which is our uh, VSS or uh, chip ground. Pin 5 is GPIO0, which is an I.O. port, which we configured to be the ADC input or analog to digital input. And uh, so right here we've got our electron microphone protected by a 10k ohm resistor. When it detects noise, uh, this coupling capacitor couples the AC tone across to our input pin. 
It also acts to filter out the DC component on the microphone side. So we're only going to see a very, very tiny AC tone here. We're not amplifying it. We're going to sample it with our analog digital, digital converter. To understand more about how that's working, read the Instructable. Um, this 100k ohm resistor, pull down resistor, is not necessary, but since we're working with such really, really tiny voltages, I figured I'd want to make sure that this was bleeding off anything that was mysterious, anything that shouldn't have been there. Now, it shouldn't be necessary to have that, but it does not hurt this hurt the circuit, just for my peace of mind. Anyway, we, only, we are also using GPIO1, which I've set as an output, which acts to, we have an indicator LED, a red LED, uh, with a current limiting resistor of 470 ohms, uh, so when we can visually see when the relay is on. We've got a 10k ohm resistor protecting the base of our NPN transistor. Our NPN transistor can be any kind of NPN transistor. I'm using a S9013, but you can use a 2N222, you can use a 2N4401, it doesn't matter. The uh, emitter is connected to ground. The collector is connected to one of our coil pins on the relay. Uh, internally, there's a, uh, a coil, but in this case, about a 150 ohm coil. Uh, we've got the other side connected to our 5 volt source. We've got a 1N4004 diode protecting this because as soon as you activate the, the relay what happens is that it creates a magnetic field which actually does the internal switching but when that when you turn the relay off that magnetic field collapses and a huge a large voltage spike will be created this real this uh, diode protects the USB from from that spike protects the transistor protects your pick very necessary anyway so as soon as, as soon as power is applied to the base Power is sunk through that coil, creating the magnetic field turning on the relay. When power is not applied to the base of the transistor, that magnetic field is turned off, power is not being applied to the coil, and your relay turns off. Now, what we've got here our 120 volt AC wall outlet, which internally has three wires uh, white, which is neutral, black, which is hot, and green, which is earth ground. Now, what we're doing is we've cut our black wire, which is our hot wire, and connected to one pin to our normally open pin on a relay on a relay and the other black uh, or the other severed black wire is connected to the common now by default when the relay is on it's connected to the normally closed pin and we're not using that pin so when power is applied to the, the, the relay uh, turns on common is connected to normally open which means the black wire is connected internally through the relay and uh, power is is going to be applied to our power, dollar store power bar so anything you plug into the power bar will have juice when you do the clap clap on. When the relay is on, power is applied to your power bar. When you clap clap off, uh, the relay is disengaged and the, connect the, hot, the hot black wire connection uh, is no longer. So, um, if you have any questions, don't say, hesitate to ask me. Uh, you can find the code, you can find more schematic information, you can find uh, a different power supply option on Instructables.com. Uh, if you have a chance, please check out the USB contest. I'd appreciate your vote, or at least a rating on my Instructable, because I try to do my best. Uh, but yeah, so uh, there's a lot more information there, safety information. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.